Currently, Korean Aerospace Industries produces the Block 20 variant of the FA-50 lead in fighter trainer, of which the same variants may end up with both the Polish Air Force and the Royal Malaysian Air Force. This variant, on paper, is more capable than any variant of the FA-50 that has fielded by the South Korean aerospace firm included the Philippines, even though the FA-50PH comes with a different upgrade path of its own. It is only in this manner that Korea Aerospace Industries offered an idea that the Philippine Air Force needs to secure at least two more squadrons of FA-50s instead of just one squadron of the aircraft as the leadership suggests into getting, as the organization maximizes the utility of its current FA-50PH, going to a certain point in time that there are only few aircraft of this type are fully operational in its fleet. It is with fully knowledge that the Philippine Air Force FA-50PH comes with a different variant of which it comes with Israeli technology integrated within the jets, making it more advanced than the FA-50s fielded during that time and before the FA-50 Block 20 came into fruition. This went into our discussion as early as 2019 and has become reiterated across other Philippine defense circles that has gives more bearing in this point. While the FA-50PH comes with its advanced capabilities that edges that of other nations other variants of the same aircraft at this period, Korea Aerospace Industries is still presenting its plethora of FA-50 block upgrades, as the Block 50 variant comes as complete in the presentation in the image above, while the Block 60 variant comes as in progress and Block 70 being in the planning stage. The Block 50 comes with Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod integration, in which this is actually available with the current upgrades that the Philippine Air Force comes with FA-50PH as these jets come with IAR L2L M-2032 fire control radar that enables this feature. Also, this upgrade also enables the integration of GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bombs that are intended for close air support operations and precision bombing procedures, just like what the FA-50PH jets did during the Marawi siege, with this performance being the deciding factor for the Malaysians in getting this jet for their light combat fighter LCA, requirement. On the other note, the in-progress Block 60 variant of the FA-50 jets is being marketed by Korea Aerospace Industries as an upgrade that will further improve the capability of these jets, specifically regarding to the increased range that this type of aircraft will go as compared to the previous reiterations, while coming with air-to-air -air refueling probe as an additional feature. This capability is helpful in increasing air patrol times, especially with an archipelagic country as big as the Philippines and the airspace that comes with it. Finally, the planned Block 70 upgrade comes with an idea of making it a capable, light multi-role fighter platform, enabling a high-low mix of capable fighter aircraft that can shoot down intruding enemy aircraft that can go hand-in-hand -hand with other platforms such as the more capable F-16 Viper that the Philippine Air Force aims through a different procurement arrangement, as the JAS-39 Gripen becomes the preferred platform under the current multi-role fighter jet acquisition project. The upgrades provided may benefit the Philippine Air Force in the long run, as having the upgrade framework as presented clearly signifies that FA-50 as a platform will continuously get support in the next couple of years, if not decades. Also, the presented upgrade path will benefit all users of the FA-50 aircraft as its enhanced capabilities will augment more capable multi-role fighter aircraft for air defense patrols.